Hey guys and girls, this is the prof. And uh, like they say, diamonds are girls' best friend. Uh, so stay tuned for a take on Lady Million by Paco Rabanne. Right. Now, this is uh, Lady Million by Paco Rabanne. Uh, this fragrance came out in 2010. So it's almost been around for a decade and it's already become a signature scent for a lot of our uh, women. Uh, now this uh, is the counterpart of Paco Rabanne of the One Million which came out uh, two years earlier. Okay, the One Million by Paco Rabanne uh, male has a gold uh, colored like this on the front of the flask uh, signifying a gold ingot, a gold bar. And uh, this one for the women also elegant and precious stone, a diamond. So they made this instead of the gold ingot for the male, they made this the woman's best friend, a diamond shape uh, after it's uh, made after the regional uh, diamond, which is one of the most uh, beautiful uh, diamond shapes in the world. So they designed it after that regional diamond. And the bottom is a uh, glass uh, shaped, diamond shaped the atomizer is integrated and uh, you would spray here on the top and on the top is uh, engraved lady million on the gold part of portion of the flask okay now as I uh, mentioned uh, the atomizer is integrated and this one for my customer is uh, a tester okay so it came on a, on a plain white box that's what usually the testers come in uh, and it says here 1 million lady 80 milliliter the 2.7 ounce which is this one this is the large one and on the bottom it comes lady million by Paco Rabanne 2.7 ounce air de parfum spray tester for women okay so uh, for more information on testers and how you can get a more discounted I'll link up a card which I talk on another video all about testers. Okay, but um, the testers are about five to ten dollars more discounted than the original packaging, and it's the same perfume. Okay, so it's a good, and especially if the uh, atomizer integrated, you don't have to worry about if it comes out uh, without a cap. Perfume is a white floral uh, perfume. Okay, um, white floral. Okay. Uh, and the notes are, top notes are Nero Lee, Amalfi Lemon, and Raspberry. Those are the top notes. And the mid notes are Jasmine, uh, African Orange Flower, and uh, Gardenia. Okay, and the base notes are Patchouli, White Honey, and Amber. Okay, now my impression on this, when I tested this out, uh, I've I've uh, sold uh, hundreds of this over my nine years on uh, e-commerce website store at eBay. Um, this uh, perfume, my impression of it, is that you have to be a white floral lady, okay, because of all the florals in there, okay. It has jasmine, African orange flower, gardenia, and nearly, okay. So if you like white florals, fragrance uh, this will be the fragrance for you okay um, a lot of people are misled by this fragrance thinking that it is a fruity floral and my impression is that it is not a fruity floral okay um, just because it has raspberry and the top note and a mouthly lemon um, there when I sprayed it on it's barely perceivable okay um, what when I uh, fresh and when you first put it on, it's a fresh, uh, clean burst of white uh, floral scent, okay? Very nice, fresh, floral white uh, uh, scent, okay? Now, it is a little sweet at the, and then a little strong and sharp at the beginning. So, uh, take it easy, ladies, on the uh, atomizer. I think this one... Since it is uh, a little bit sharp, strong, white floral scent at the beginning, it would be uh, maybe a little less would uh, be better unless you want to put more and project 
uh, you know, loud into it. You know, here I am, you know, then you put more. But if you just want the uh, projection on the silage closer to you, then uh, one or two sprays is, is enough because this is a strong, long lasting white floral perfume. Okay. You know, like I said, I really didn't perceive the fresh uh, raspberry in, in the top notes. What, what I perceive is uh, the sharp white floral um, sweet scent, okay, which is a uh, long duration uh, up to seven plus hours, okay. Uh, I, on one test strip, on one arm here, I put it at 12 midnight to test it out overnight. And when I woke up the next morning at seven in the morning, I still could smell it on my on my wrist, okay? So that's a seven hours right there. And uh, on the test strip at midday, I could still perceive the perfume, that's 12 hours. Okay, so this is a very long lasting perfume. Some of my impressions of this uh, perfume is that it's uh, white, Floral flowers were the gardenia, the jasmine, the narrowly uh, sweet white flowers uh, linger in, in this perfume for a long while. Okay, uh, it's not really a fruity floral fragrance as some perceive. Maybe that's why it might get some negative reviews uh, from other ladies uh, because they think it's a it's marked and they say it uh, has raspberry oil. It's going to be a sweet. Okay, now the silage on this perfume uh, is from moderate to heavy. Okay, so uh, so for the first to seven, four to seven hours of this uh, perfume, uh, it's gonna be projecting very wide around. Okay, so since I said it's a sharp floral fragrance, uh, if you want to keep it moderate, then you uh, you put less sprays. Okay. Um, now the, you know, the projection or the duration, um, is, is a very long lasting perfume. Okay. This is going to be seven plus hours easily. Okay. Um, so the best use for this would be, uh, since it has a uh, amber base, warm amber base, it will be, uh, now for the fall and winter, uh, time periods. Okay. Um, uh, you can wear this all year round um, uh, since it's a white floral, you know, but the best t time will be now in the fall and winter since it has that warm amber base uh, and the evening. I would say the evening wear will be the best because this is an elegant floral perfume, very elegant floral perfume, uh, crowd pleaser, and, and you're going to get noticed with this uh, smell, okay? Um, now the age range, I would say, since this is a white floral perfume, sophisticated, elegant, um, I would say this will be for the mature uh, woman, uh, college age up, okay? Um, I would not think that this would be appropriate for a, a teenager, although anyone can wear the fragrance if they like it, you know, but... Um, it's just a little too strong uh, white floral perfume. It smells like a uh, like a elegance of a, of a more mature woman. Okay, so maybe if a younger woman would wear this, a teenager or something, uh, you know, it would have to be like on a date, a prom, or something like that uh, to get noticed. You know, to, uh, something like that, but not everyday wear. Okay, so that's my take on uh, Lady Million. Um, if you like this review, uh, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I try to at least post once a month, maybe uh, sometimes twice a month, and uh, uh, because of my other obligations. Um, but uh, I try to post perfumes that I get uh, shipped in to, 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 my, uh, to Puerto Rico over here. Uh, so this one's going out to my client. And uh, until next time, uh, God bless and peace to you guys and girls. Uh, take care.